kids, internet safety, and mental health. Welcome back to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. With us is Google technology and safety expert, Alex Joseph. Hi, Alex. Hi, Fred. Thank you for having me. Great to see you. And with summer vacations starting soon, lots of kids will be spending more time in front of screens. Uh, Alex, last summer, kids 8 to 12 spent an average of eight and a half hours a day in front of screens. Yes, that's right. And it, it really speaks to a conversation that a lot of people are having around how much screen time is too much. In fact, we saw that search in Google search triple over the last year. Um, another search that tripled was, how do I keep my kids safe online? And so people are really um, having this conversation amongst themselves, parents uh, with other parents and their families. And at Google, we actually are having the same conversation as well. We have a dedicated team of doctors and clinicians that are asking these questions. They're working with an advisory committee of outside experts to make sure that we are designing our products with mental health in mind and, and building separate tools that really help parents manage their kids' online time. So uh, what would some of the tools be and, and what should parents know here because regulating isn't always easy? Yeah, so we you know, built a tool called Family Link and you can download it in the app store of your choice. And what Family Link does is it lets you set some digital ground rules. And this means anything from the bedtime uh, that you need to stop using your phone by, or it limits the amount of screen time for your device or any particular app, but it can also go even further. It can make sure that certain apps may not have access to the camera or that you have alerts set for when your child uh, leaves or arrives at a location, or even making sure the content they view on YouTube is age appropriate. So. We think of it as a one-stop shop, uh, kind of Swiss army knife uh, for parents to have all the tools at their disposal. They need to kind of accompany a conversation that they should have with their child about how to be safe online. There probably isn't an easy answer when it comes to how much is too much, because I guess it depends upon the activities that the, that the kids are involved in online. That's a really great point. And one of the things that we think is important to talk about is there's nuance here, right? Not all screen time is bad screen time. We know that tons of kids come to YouTube, for example, to get help with their math homework, to understand you know, cool curiosities around science and technology, to learn a new hobby, to get tips on how to perform well in their sports. So not all screen time is bad screen time, but that's why it's critical that parents have this conversation with children and that we give parents the tools that they need to be able to really manage their child's online time. Another issue that uh, parents sometimes struggle with is the privacy issue. Do you give the kids the privacy that they often demand or, or ask for, or is it the parent's role to step in and say, I need to know what's going on? Yeah, and I think, again, this is going to be different for every parent and every family. And again, that's why we built a tool that's flexible. So for some families, it may be critically important to know the location of your child. And with Family Link, you can do that. While for others, they may trust their child. Uh, and, and you can make decisions and change that as you go along. So that is why we work with this team of experts and doctors and clinicians to say, what is the appropriate tool set to, to make sure that parents have what they need? One other resource that I would mention here is a curriculum that we built called Be Internet Awesome. And we know that these conversations around what is appropriate for kids online can sometimes be difficult for a parent to have. So Be Internet Awesome is a curriculum you can do with your child, and it covers topics ranging from screen time, but also how to avoid misinformation, what to do if you're being cyber bullied and how to communicate responsibility, what a good password looks like. Um, so there's a there's a range of uh, different you know topics to, to cover and we're, we wanna make sure that parents feel that they have all the resources they need. That, that's very interesting. So once again, give us, a, give us a couple of places people can go to for maybe some help here. Yes, so everything that I've mentioned can be found at families.google. Uh, but additionally, those two, the app is called Family Link and the curriculum is called Be Internet Awesome. Just terrific. We appreciate you taking the time with us. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Me.